today I want to show you a very compact way to create Elegonite mob farms using the horse cart abuse. It's just the Astaker cart. Just built with planks and wheels, and a wheel is built with sticks and plank. And you can create pretty compact mob, the Light Mike Unite mob farms are really compact just to be in the cart. And a couple of reasons why this works. First off, generally the uh, like and like mob spawners don't check for they do check for a collision of boat like for example uh can i get one actually in there let me make this pool a bit bigger and if i stick boats in here nothing should really spawn uh, it's actually floating on the poison wow that's crazy Alright, so Lycanite Mobs, Spawners, Test, Poison. And I can... Alright, that's not a good example. But generally, the Spawners, the Lycanite mob Spawners, they won't work if there is a boat in the way or another entity that has a hitbox. So, if I position them now this way, and will this still spawn them? Now, this is it's basically spawn proof the poison. I can keep spamming it. Once I remove the boats, stuff spawn in it now. However, carts are different from boats. Carts don't have a collision box. So, like an mobs gonna spawn straight and get caught straight into them. And that's the first reason. Second reason is you can actually see it. A what is that? A blight mob there was caught in the cart. I'm gonna show you that. Blights. Can I get the command? There we go. I'm gonna spawn an infernal blight even stronger. And it cannot enter a cart. Let me turn on the hitboxes to show that I'm pushing the zombie, trying to push the zombie into the boat, but it can't. And I'm gonna show you I could do it for a I'm gonna be able to do it for a normal zombie. I'm gonna be able to push him into a boat so he gets in there easily. However, cart cart picks up the blight infernal easily. And this is also the same with champions. Uh, what do I, do? I want a level 5 champion. And same thing, it cannot enter a boat. Champions cannot enter a boat. And somewhat a normal one, normal mob enters the boat. However, horse cart, champion goes inside. So, that's the second reason to build a or a abuse farm. Uh, kill these guys. Alright, and I'm gonna show these. These are pretty, pretty simple. Very compact. They're all, most of these are within a 5x5 five five area, as you can see from above here. This is the uh, cinder one. I'm gonna show you that it's currently not spawning anything. I'm going to spam it, and you'll see no cinders are spawning. Let me get out the ideal weapon. An ideal weapon to use in this farm is a greatsword because of the sweeping effect it normally has. And I'm going to actually light it. So it should be in here, another piece of steel. Now I have 12 blocks of fire in this general area. And now cinder should spawn in here. Yep, spinners spawn and they're directly inside these boats. Now I could just slice them up. Aiming a little bit just right under these slabs here. As you can see, if hitbox is on, I can aim directly above these carts without destroying them. And I could just keep attacking and just killing them. And as you can see from the subtitles at the bottom right, I'm getting EXP in here and any actual items that drop that that aren't uh, in there get in the fire. 
you'll be picked up by the hopper and like that this setup is pretty much the same for the poisoned and acid variants i'm gonna just show off that it works for these two turn this into a valid ooze let me just show off that it's an invalid poison right now oh is there enough is there poison from over there or is the flowing poison counting all right let me just clear this did i accidentally shoot a cart or maybe i never put another cart in there I could show that off later. Is this still a valid poison? It's a valid poison, whatever. So, poison is... Oh, I counted wrong. Poison is like the other fluids where it only needs eight blocks of it to work. This has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks in here, so you need one extra somewhere else. So if I get rid of that, this should be no longer a valid poison spawner. And, to, oh, this is why I need the other cart in there. I'm going to show you even with the full setup, I could still place back some of the carts. I aim for the, the block in the center, the corner here. Right click. That puts the cart down there, and you can see it immediately picked up the guy. I can kill him. This is now no longer a valid poison spawner until I add the eighth block of poison. This is now a valid poison spawner. It's now same for acid here. This acid is right now an invalid acid spawner because it's only seven blocks of acid. Until I add the eighth block of acid. And now, safe and spawn in here. Alright, let me just prepare myself to show this off in survival. So let me get rid of those guys. Of course, those are naturally going to spawn because I keep killing elementals. Time, set, day. Then let me just give myself other potion effects so I don't have to accidentally die and spawn. This Generation. Game mode S. Now I'm in survival. I can stand here. I am completely safe. Although I do want to be able to. Nah, this is fine. Safe ins. I could kill them. They won't give me trouble. aim in the area just right under these slabs so I could slice kill them without being near without destroying the carts switch back to creative to move over to poison I'm here at poison game mode S now I could attack mobs and poison kill them um weather clear and then I'm gonna test poison again. I can kill poison. I'm really unsafe in this setup. Alright. Game mode C. Move over to back to cinders. Game mode S. I'm gonna test fire. And I could kill these guys without too much trouble. Oh no. Game mode C. Stupid. That guy. That could have caused my trouble, but I was safe from the cinders. And now to start explaining the different ones. This one is the lava spawner. It also just needs eight blocks. However, the other mobs, most of the mobs in it are tough don't really fit inside the cart, except for the Aphrids, although the Aphrids have an awfully small hitbox that they... You can't actually attack them from this uh, setup here, like they will be all in the... mostly in the cart. 
So if you try to attack them, for the most part, you'll break the cart. However, there's still uh, one part of the hitbox that allows for that allows for you to still hit the A for it without breaking the cart. And that is with this weird setup here. So let me switch back to survival. And I'm dying of heat, but whatever. Lava. This will spawn a fritz now. And I flip that down, and hopefully they'll, these these two will fly up and get caught inside the cart. That guy is a little small. When this guy flies up, you'll get caught in the cart. We'll just have to hope for the second guy to get inside the cart. You got you gonna get inside there? Alright, that's unfortunate. That that guy isn't really moving around. He needs to move around more to eventually get caught inside this cart. The unfortunate thing is that the minimum number of mobs in the lava spawner is two. So you can't really have a second module of this because then it'll get clogged with like one and one in two separate modules and then another the spawner won't spawn more like uh, i could keep spinning it see it's not spawning more it's, it's up to spawn the passive thing in there so you know what i think all this needs is for me to oh this guy actually did pathfind in there eventually and get caught but now i could show this off now Back to survival to show off that this guy isn't attacking me but as you can see this hitbox this guy in back is sticking out i could just use the sweeping attack and i could keep attacking i'm not gonna get, destroy the cart but i was able to kill the uh a that was in there which is pretty nice and then the last one is the ooze farm this is kind of multi-part for example, I built it mostly a tower here, and at the bottom we can convert it into the same design as the fire, poison, and acid to do the reavers to spawn from frost fire. Reavers only need one block of frost fire to start spawning, but you could just wait until Wendigos walk around enough to create a uh, big enough platform to just build the other farm. And of course, you can see from the height that I've built this at, once you've set up the reaver part, you can just block it off. Block off uh, about this part. And you might want to slice off this part so you could attack at the feet of Wendigos. And at the top, it's optional, but this is the same-ish setup that you can build for the lava. This is just to catch the... Eric is at the top. As you can see, some of the Reavers flew up here and get, got caught in the cart. As you can see, they're outside here. Unfortunately, as you can see, the eye lines, they can attack out of it. But unlike uh, the Aphers that spawn in lava, Eric's and Reavers that fly into here in this setup, you can hit their head. And if they fight, shoot, try and shoot a projectile at you, they won't destroy the cart with them. So that's why we can't have an easy uh, Aphrit setup because the Aphrit that spawn in lava can easily destroy the cart if they try and shoot a projectile. These other guys, they don't. So we could either have a setup out here at the top where you can try and hit their heads if they get caught in the cart, or if you just want to get rid of Eric's and just want to farm or Wendigo's, we could just provide holes in the side and carts for the Eric's to get caught in and suffocate when they get caught inside. So this is just really simple, just a big tower. The most complex things I'll show you is this one I build it. No, no, this one I build it for kind of like the Aphrits. And then this back portion I'll just show off right now. And let me use brown glass, dirt, and just move this out a bit further and just show this off as like the wall here this is one of the walls on this side since it's these are open holes you just 
there's a rock dying in there. You don't want to ever have line of sight in here because then they could shoot a projectile and you don't want to get hurt by a projectile. So the side of the holes, just put them in a direction which you're not going to walk by or you could just create a big wall if you want either. But this wall here is going to be similar to this one side and where we want to create Eric's killers. Uh, what do we want? So we could start at the bottom here. This is where we're going to... Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna, where we put it, one row of carts where they're gonna sit. Uh, cart here, cart here. And then we could just put a block of dirt, blocks of dirt there. And this will catch most Eryxes. Although we still want to use slabs here to make a little bit bigger hole. A little bit bigger that weavers can't fit through, but the bigger Eryxes that are a little bit bigger than one block tall, they can fit through. Just add slabs there like that. This way, Eryxes... Eryx... Could spawn, they could try and fly in through this hole, get caught, and start suffocating in the dirt. If we just want to get rid of Eryxes and just want Wendigos here to clear out the ooze spawner uh spawn cap we just want to maximize windigos oh here's an example we got an infernal caught in here now very cool we got switch to survival gonna oh he has thorns that's annoying but as you can see if you are well prepared enough you're not gonna die from the infernal oh is xp stuck in there oh easy just like that if anything gets stuck in the hopper itself now let's see if i could show you how to build it i'm going to show you how to build the generic one here so what is this it's just built in the ground to hold the things i need is i'll build, a, build it with poison for example I don't want a hopper and the chest. The chest is necessary to control the height that we want to stand at. So let's see. Okay, I got an idea. This isn't even now. Okay. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. At the bottom is going to be our liquid. Or fire, if we're using fire, we're gonna add nether rack at the bottom instead. Like that. And I'm gonna punch out that. Punch these out. Do I want, yeah, I want the extra protection. So here, we want a chest here. And then our three hoppers will go in to three. Then if we want to put in the carts now, just aim for the corners here. Corner here, corner here. Oh, corner was put wrong. You just want to put them all on the corner of the hopper, of the center hopper there. But I'm going to show off that you can still place them in this once you put the trap door here. Um, I'll build it with glass. We want two high s walls here. And I also want slabs. The slabs we're going to use are, on this layer, top slabs. And then on top of that, we're going to put bottom slabs. This way, even though it looks like a full block, this setup won't suffocate anything in here. And what do I want to disable? I'm going to show off that I need to disable. And spawner. Just let me disable the make things inside poison have unspawnable blocks. Alright, and then what I need here is gonna look at this block. Uh block here. Trapdoor like that and then you're going to put a trapdoor on top of it so if you want to protect it it flips up 
and gives you a little bit more range. As you can see, I could still, if I need to replace carts, I could still see within it one corner there, one corner there, one corner there, and one corner there. Although this gets in the way, I can't put down poison in here anymore. So now I should have access to every block in here. Center, side, side, center, center, corner, corner. And as you can see, none of this is flowing poison. And now I'm free to put a cart in. Corner, 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 corner. Flip in these into position. And then I could test did the other poison in there is creating it valid, but for you, you're going to have to dump one random poison block anywhere you want it. You could uh, make it unspawnable by just using a cobblestone wall, slap the poison there, nothing will spawn in there. Spawn. I need to kill the other dudes. Uh, great sword. The other guys in this old one. Okay, they're dead in there. Like an egg knob, spawners, test, poison. And now they spawn in here. Kill the guys here. And as you can see, nothing will spawn in that poison to the side of me. Just gonna keep spawning it to make this faster. With that poison sitting on top of the wall there. That's spawn proof. It's just there, so we have the minimum amount of poison in one area. And you would do the same for the other liquids too, like uh, the acid. Acid will work here too. I could switch this to acid, for example. Uh, let me turn this into invalid. Then I need to kill the Zaphins in here. Just gonna show it that the exact same setup works over here. So poison there now. I need to remove the carts. That's fine. That's fine. Remove the carts, and then I just need to get rid of the poison. Of course, if you want to save the liquid, you just use a bucket on it. But I'm in creative, so I don't care. All right, gonna add acid now. Put it on back, put it in the sides. Oh, I put it wrong. Oh, you can actually drop in the hopper to get a better view if you need it. All right, so that should be eight acid now, and I could... Yep, this is now spawning Zaphins, but I did forget to put the cards in, so... Uh... Not the worst, you could still kill them easily like that. And then with this view, cart, cart, a cart dropped into the acid and died. Cart in every corner. I need that EXP, I walk forward. Are you not getting in there? All right, let's see. The easy fix for situations like this is to just use a carpet. Of course you wouldn't be able to uh, you know, you could just use a trap door, an iron one maybe, in case the fire spreads from there. This should work. Then I could still place, yeah, I could still place them in the corner there. Aim at all the corners. Oh no, this is why I didn't use trap doors. I can't see it. I can't see their hitboxes. Um, so I guess you might just lose a little if you use hoppers here. It's unfortunate, but at least it's easier. Get rid of these. Now, I forget the setup that usually uh, works. Maybe carpet will work. I could actually try carpet after this, but as you can see, it works with Zaphins. Uh, the carpet and see if it works in there. 
If not, you could suck it up and just use full blocks. It won't have the hopper effect. However, uh, as you can see, you can just crouch and pick up the items out land there. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to refill everything. Cart, 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 cart. In every corner of that block. And I still... Yep, this still gives... Let's... With carpets. The only worry I have is if you use the fire spawner and the carpets catch on fire. This setup still. The hitboxes are correct. I just can do debug. I can just aim under the slab and I won't hit the carts. But I will still hit... The Sanofans. Alright, I'm gonna show off how to build the harder one now. This one's interesting. Because I use... Uh, what do I use? Oh, I use a bookshelf. Bookshelf. I use bookshelf to help align the cart. Bookshelf just made out of slabs like that. Uh, I need to turn this one in now. Stupid fish. Um, get that. You know what? Why didn't I build it like that? That works too. Alright, so similar. To this other one, I still want. No, I want to build it over here. Chest there, and then this is gonna be where the lava goes. If I do it like this, I could still trick the. Yeah, yeah. This will create a spot where the a Eryx for things that can path through and move more often than the other one. And I'll use one less hopper at it too. I need to grab a hopper. Hopper there. And let's see. Then put the you know bookshelf needs to be above. Bookshelf here. And then this needs to be clear, so I could put a cart down here. And then I just need to try and move the cart. Yep, it's moved and now aligned to this bookshelf. This is position we want, so we could still see this block here. And once an air Aphrit's in here, a second two Aphrit's are in here, one of their backs is going to pop out of the back of this cart. And what's the next thing I need? I want a lava bucket. Oh, at this step. Hmm, I would recommend... You could use a full box here to fill in the... Uh, fill in this middle area. Although you could use soul sand for its lower hitbox than a normal full block. Like you'll see me drop a little. See me clip down a little if I step on the soul sand. Soul sand, a hopper is able to pick up items through. So put a soul sand there and do I want one there? If I put one there, it'll cause, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. And then we'll just need to put glass here and above this and did i build this too far forward no this is fine i still need a trap door though let's see this this foot flip this one up here always needs to be up as you can see i have full view of uh, of any mobs that are in here this needs to be here to block line of sight so they don't attack and I still want slabs. I can... No, I want full glass here. I could use full glass here. And I just need to fill this with lava now. Um, we could do... One, two, three, four, five. That's five lava there. And... 
then you just need to throw in the three lava anywhere you want. So pop those. And can I get a wall? There we go. Got a wall from there. One, two, three. This will give us eight lava. Eight lava blocks. And we'll also spawn proof from Eric's. Test lava. I got lava spawning. Don't tell me. Oh yeah, they're still in here. So let me kill the last ones that are in here. And this should spawn. Are you in there, buddy? Or do you still spawn in here? Odd. Don't know why they're not spawning in this area. It's down in there. Dirt. Dirt is what's on dirt. Uh, time set day, weather clear, and why isn't lava spawning? Yeah, don't tell me it's trying to spawn here. Uh, let's, let me just block it up there. Or even worse, it's trying to spawn farther away. Just let me uh, despawn everything pretty quickly. Yeah. So, Eric says we're just somewhere far away here. And now they're spawning here. In here. I ticked it again. And eventually these guys will decide to f go move into this. This guy flew up. He didn't decide to move over. Nope, now he's in here. Now we gotta wait for this guy to get in here before we can attack. And let me switch to survival. Game mode S. I'm pretty good in survival. Safe. Add that there. And I could just kill the dudes in here. Game mode C. Um, I think this is pretty simple enough. This setup for Ooze. I'll just provide a world download to it in case you want to build it yourself. It's just really simple. Big old uh, 3x3 tower. You would even just dig it in the ground if you want. Uh, yeah, all these generally... Oh, the important for all these designs. This top area. Actually, this uh, can be solid. This won't suffocate the dudes. Because they're not even in it. You can use solid dirt here. That's what the brown glass was showing. I can use complete dirt here. It won't suffocate these guys these guys already sit up in uh slabs so they won't suffocate in those scenarios uh similar here so most so yeah i think that's it this that i want to show off if oh oh this is silly i forgot to show off this silly one this is the pumpkin spawner it only works during full moons and at night it can sometimes spawn the pumpkin mobs really easy it needs a minimum uh, of four pumpkins. Just dump cards on top of them. They're relatively melee enemies, I think. And what are they? They are the tea pumpkins. They look like this. And I've been unable to set the moon cycle correctly to show off the spawner consistently. So uh, let me set time one, four, one, two, three. Is this the correct time? No, I said it wrong. Time set one. This is night time, so it's too late. And then slash like night mobs spawners test pumpkin. Nope, this seems to be the wrong moon cycle. Oh yeah, that is the wrong moon cycle. Time add two four. I get the full moon. All right, that's the full moon. Full moon looks like this. This is the time where the, uh, I forgot what the bat is called, but that's the bat bomb. Oh, and you see, you can see pumpkin things have spawned now on the full moon and at night. They spawn in these conditions when there's four pumpkins, and this is literally the farm.
Um, you don't need the chest here. You just need uh, the ground to stand on. The ground to stand on. And can these guys hit me? Nope, they're melee. I got too close in that scenario. Oh, there's a wild one. Game mode C. And, yeah. Game mode S. From this range, they're not attacking me. Yep. And another one spawns, of course. Just a... So maybe you want to build some of the... One of the other setups around this to create some protection. Game mode S. Oh, I know. You still actually uh, want the chest. You actually still want the chest here to be above. So you get the right um, height to not easily kill the cart. Let me, uh, can I force another pumpkin? The pumpkin, uh, like a night mob spawn directly on top of pumpkins. So, yeah, just dump carts on top of them to abuse them. Uh, unfortunately, despite how easy it is to build this farm, it only works at on a full moon and at night. And the things I drop pretty much only drop pumpkins. So, uh, weird pumpkin farm if you make this. Alright, that's about it that I wanted to show off. Uh, thanks for watching.